God bless you. Good morning. Hello. Uh, happy third week of January to you, young adults. Um, God bless you. I hope that everything is going well for you. Today is Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. And isn't it weird that we're now saying 2020? Uh, we are in a new, not just a new year, but a new decade. And we are going to move forward in this year not just individually, but as a group. We're going to encourage one another. We're going to uplift and we're going to build one another as we go through this year. I hope that you all have been reading the devotions the past two weeks. Hope they've been a blessing to you. Hope they've been beneficial, that you are um, growing, that you're meditating on the words that have been shared with you. And so on this week, I just thought that uh, for week three, we would do a video blog. And I hope that you are also sharing this with other young adults, not just necessarily from Glad Tidings, but just young adults in general. Because we all need to be encouraged and uplifted and pushed to where we're trying to go in this life. On well, yesterday, you celebrated Martin Luther King Day, and I hope that you um, took in consideration the benefit and the blessing that God gave us by sending such a man as Martin Luther King Jr that has blessed um, not just that time during the civil rights movement, but generations beyond that day. And we all are blessed and benefiting from what Dr. Martin Luther King sacrificed in giving up his life, that we will have a better life that we live today. And so I hope that you took that in consideration uh, on yesterday. Our theme for this month has been um, New Beginnings, Chasing After God. And I want to share with you once again on this week, Chasing After God, week three. Um, our scripture is coming from Genesis 32, uh, verses 26 through 28. And I'm going to move this just a little bit so I can read the scripture um, as I share with you. And it says in Genesis 32, verses 26 to 28, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall call, be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are really familiar with the story of Jacob um, and, uh, um, and how many of you are really familiar with uh, Genesis 32, but just let me share real quickly. Uh, in Genesis 32, Jacob is on the run for his life. He's running from his brother Esau because Esau is now upset that he has tricked his, been tricked by his brother for his birthright. and. Um, and now he's coming after his brother and Jacob is on the run. And as Jacob is on the run, he sends his family ahead of him because he wants them to be safe. And he stays and pitches his tent that night in a place. And as he's pitching his tent at night by himself and he's in a lonely place, he began to wrestle with someone in the dark, not knowing that the person he was wrestling with, the angel who he wrestled with, was the angel of God. And as he's wrestling with this angel, this angel then um, grabs a hold of him and the angel and Jacob has a grip on this angel. And the angel says, let me go. And Jacob declares, I will not let you go until you bless me. And when the angel um, heard this from Jacob, the angel then told Jacob, um, I'm going to bless you, but your name will no longer be Jacob, which is which means trickster, but your name will be Israel because you have wrestled with God and you have prevailed and you will have favor, not with just God, but with men. I want to share with you today as we continue to go into this month talking about chasing after God that you have to be so determined that when you're going through, when you are wrestling with things, that you will not give up until you get the blessing that is being delivered unto you. Because sometimes we quit in the middle of a fight. Sometimes in the midst of what we're going through, we quit. We won't finish it through. Because we don't finish it through, we don't receive the blessing that we have. As you're chasing after God, everything is not going to be easy. Everything is not, a, not going to come to you 
in a smooth manner. There's going to be some rough places. There's going to be some difficulties. There's going to be some heartache. There's going to be some crying. There's going to be some tough times. But you have to hold on and you have to continue to wrestle until you get to that end, till you finish to receive what God has for you. God will not just give you everything that you want until you learn to appreciate what you have. You can't appreciate the sunshine until you understand the benefit of the rain. You can't appreciate a smile until you know what tears are all about. And so as you're chasing after God in this month of January, as we're in this time of new beginnings, as you are going for what God has for you, remember that it's not all going to be easy. There's going to be some tough times. There's going to be some difficult times. But you young adults have to hold on and trust that God is not going to take you to a place that you're not going to be able to handle. He's going to take you through some things that's going to benefit you, that's going to make you better, that's going to make you stronger, that's going to make you wiser, that's going to increase your understanding. Be thankful for things that you go through because they're for the betterment of you and not just for you but for you to be a benefit and a betterment to the people who you come in contact with. That's why it's written in, in Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. That scripture lets us know that it's not about me, it's not about you, but it's about us. For what you go through is for me, and what I go through is for you, and that is how we grow. Chasing after God means going hard, for being in the presence of God. As I have shared with you uh, the, at, through these first couple weeks, chasing after God does not mean going after the hand of God, not going after the things of God, not going after houses and, and cars and money. That's not what chasing after God is about, but it's about being in his presence because the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. If you get in his presence, the very things that you have desire of will come once you get into his presence. But you have to seek his presence. You have to chase after him hard to be in his presence, to be before him, to lie at his feet, to bow before his throne and give him glory, honor, and praise. Be encouraged, young adults. I know that at this stage in your life, it seems as though things are topsy-turvy. You have a lot of questions. You have a lot of concerns. But do not be discouraged. God is not through with you yet. He's going to finish what he started in you. But being, but don't you give up. Don't you quit. Don't you throw in a towel. Don't you let go. Now is not the time to give up because you're right at the edge of your breakthrough. As I ministered on this past Sunday, you're right at the edge of your breakthrough. You just need to continue to hold on, be strong, and trust that God is going to bring you out. I love you. I hope that you love me, and I hope that this is a benefit and a blessing to you. Share it with those who you come in contact with. Invite them to be a part of the Young Adults Ministry and to be a part of this devotion that we do on a weekly basis. God bless you. Have a wonderful week, and be encouraged. We look forward to our fellowship later on this month. Look out for a, uh, a text, an email, an announcement, and we'll even post it on this blog from Sister Tiffany Burton as we prepare to uh, fellowship in the month of January as young adults. God bless you.